What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's lesson, we're creating a sketch illustration of a Velociraptor. Now for this lesson, I'm using a black 4B pencil. We use the side grip using the flat edge of our pencil. Let's start at the very top left side of our page and sketch out a circle. Starting from the very top, it's going to work our way around towards the bottom. And then go back up towards the top. Let's go up to the top of that circle. Step up, draw a smaller circle for the socket of the eye. Let's sketch a smaller circle inside that top circle. So we're going to start at the very top. It's going to go all the way around. Back up. Go up to the top of that center circle. Draw a straight line going out. And we're going to round out the front of the head. Starting up here, curve this out and then down. Now from the bottom, I'm just going to curve across and then down on the left side. Let's open up the mouth, starting back on the left. I'm just going to curve this up and then out towards that same length. Curve this down and then in towards the bottom of that circle. Now with the head in place, we're going to block out the curve of the body. Starting from the left side of the head, I'm just going to curve this around the neck. Come down and in towards the body. And then from here, we're going to curve out and up towards the right and they'll bend the tail going out and down. Let's add a fold in the center of the neck. Starting from the bottom of that circle, curve this out and then down toward that center line. Let's go to the inside of the neck, curve the body coming down and then out. Now to go back up to the top of the head, curve the neck going out, down, and then in. Let's connect the bottom of the neck with a curve, coming down and back up. Now from here, we're gonna round out the top of the body. Starting from the base of the neck, curve the body going up and pull that all the way down towards that center line. Now we're gonna draw on the bottom of the body. Starting back on the left, curve the body coming down, round this out and then pull that back up. Now we're going to add some thickness to the tail. Let's start on the right side of the body. I'm just going to follow that same curve going around. I'm just going to taper this so it gets narrower as we come down towards the tip of the tail. Now we're going to do the same thing along the bottom. Starting from the bottom of the body, curve this out and up. And then again, we're just going to taper this out towards the end of the tail. Now the hind leg is going to sit along the back side of the body. Starting from the top, we're going to sketch an oval. Going all the way around towards the bottom of the body and pull that back up towards the top. Now from here, we're going to lay out the bones of the hind leg. Starting from the center of that oval, draw a straight line coming down. Now at the bottom, we're just going to sketch a small circle. Let's angle the leg going out towards the right. From the center, angle this out and back. And then again, just sketching out a small circle. And then the bottom of the leg is going to curve out towards the right. Starting from the center, curve this out and then down. Let's add a small line going across the bottom of the foot. Now with the bones in place, we're going to add some thickness to the legs. Let's start on the left side of this circle, curve this up and then out towards the body. Round up the inside, go up and in towards the top of that oval. Let's go back to the bottom, curve this down and then out underneath that outside circle. And then from here, curve out and then down towards that bottom line. Let's go to the right side of that oval, curve the leg coming in and then down. And from the bottom, we'll step up, curve down and then out toward the top of that circle. And it's going to spread the foot out so it gets wider as it comes out and then down towards that bottom line. Now the left leg is going to get tucked in underneath the body. So let's start down here. Start with a straight angle line coming down and out. Sketch in that circle. And then from that center of that circle, angle is down and back. 
towards the heel. Sketch another circle. And then from the outside of that circle, we'll sketch a line coming down and out towards the bottom of the foot. And we'll sketch a line going out towards the left. Now I'm going to go back and add some thickness to the legs. Starting from the outside, put this in and then up towards the left side of that bottom circle. And then from here, curve the leg going out and then up. Curve this up and in behind the body. Let's move over towards the right, curve the leg coming down and then out. Step up, come out and then down. Round up the bottom of the leg and then pull that back out. Let's go over towards the left side and draw in the arms. From this seam, we sketch out a circle. The socket of the arm. Then from the center, angles down and back towards the elbow. Sketch out a smaller circle. Let's angle the forearm coming down towards the left. From the center, angles down and out. Add a small circle for the wrist. And then from the center of the wrist, angles down and back. And then again, with those bones in place, we're going to draw the outside of the arm. Starting from the outside, goes down and then in. Go up to the top, go out and then down towards the outside of that circle. Let's go to the top of that smaller circle, curve the forearm going out and then down. From the bottom, curve down and then out. Now we want to bend the fingers coming back up towards the body. So from here, curve this in and then up. Taper this back in towards the hand. Draw a straight angle line pulling up towards the forearm. Now we're going to duplicate this section in behind the body on the left. So let's start with that circle on the side of the body. Come down towards the bottom. Curve this in and up. Now we're going to add a little bit of thickness. Starting from the top, curve this up and in behind the body. Go down to the bottom, curve this in and up. And from the outside, curve down and then in towards the bottom. Let's go to the inside of the wrist, draw a straight angle line coming down towards the claw, curve that back up and in. Now we're going to go back up and draw the back side of the mouth. Start from the tip, curve this down and then in behind the jaw. And then from the inside corner of the mouth, let's step in, just draw a curve going around and back down. Once we're happy with the general proportions of our drawing, we're going to go back in and lightly erase some of these guidelines. Now with this next step, we're going to go in with the tip of our pencil and start tracing out the contours and adding a little bit of detail as we go. Let's start with the eyes. So we start by tracing out the inside of the eye. And adding a small slit in the center for the pupil. We're just adding a little bit more shape to the head as we go. Bringing the jaw down a little bit lower and pulling that back up. Now we're just going to enhance that seam. Just come across and then down.
can see that I'm splitting the hand into two claws. I'm just going back in and just adding some detail to the feet. Now I'm going in with the side edge of my pencil and adding a deep shadow across the brow. And we'll add a deep shadow along the bottom of the body, starting with the head. And just working our way around the neck. bringing that shadow just underneath the body. Just working my way across the leg on the bottom. Now these shadows can be quite rough at this stage. We're going to go back and refine them a little bit later. I just want to get the right tones in the shadow.
And using that same technique, we're just gonna add some stripes across the top edge of the body. It's gonna work with the shape of the body, so just curving them out and then down. Just trying to go a little bit thicker along the top, and then just fading them out as we come down. We're just gonna pull this all the way across the tail. Now going back in with a tip or pencil, just refining the detail and the shadows. Just adding some deep curves underneath the eye. Adding a few wrinkles along the top edge of the mouth. Just add the indication of some fangs along the top edge.
And as we get near the end of our drawing, I'll continue to add some more detail and these fine lines to create some texture. And that's pretty much it. There's a sketch illustration of a Velociraptor. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure you subscribe and send me your requests in the comments below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.